Hey, thanks for coming back. I've seen in the groups and uh, forums I'm part of lately, some people are having some uh, questions about how do you adjust the idle speed on the 1025R and the 1023E. So I thought I'd make this quick video just to show you how easy it's done. It's really not a big deal, just follow the steps I'm about to show you and you'll be able to do this too. The thing to keep in mind though is that at this point in time, idle speed should be set at 1500 RPMs. If you go beyond that, it's lower than what they want for the hydraulic pump to be running at. Alright, so we're on the side of the tractor here by the injection pump. Right here is a bolt that adjusts your idle stop. You can see, when I move the throttle, that bolt is what keeps this from going this way any further to idle down slower. So what we're doing is we're just going to be loosening up this uh, stop nut and turning this bolt here to adjust the idle speed. So you're going to need a 10 millimeter wrench. Keep in mind everything's going to be metric. This is made by Yanmar, which is a Japanese company. So I've loosened the lock nut and now I can turn the bolt. Turning this bolt and unscrewing it this way is what's going to allow you to reduce the engine speed. If you need to bring the engine speed up, you want to screw it in this way. So at this point, now that we have this loose and we can adjust it by hand, we're going to start the tractor up so we can look at the tack and see what our idle engine speed is. So we know which way to go with this. So you can see right you can see right now we're too low. Getting closer. We're just a hair under 1500. Once you've made your adjustment, you need to tighten up the lock nut using your 10 millimeter wrench. 